Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a weekly planner in Word. So the first thing I need to do is to turn around my page to landscape, go up to the layout tab, go to orientation, click on the drop down and select landscape. I'm just going to zoom in and we're going to go to insert text box, click on the drop down, select draw text box. And for the time being, we're just going to draw out a text box like this. Now, for those of you who don't know, each text box will come with a black border and a white background. So we're going to get rid of both of those. So select it, go to shape format, go to shape outline, click on the drop down, select no outline. Then go to shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill. And you've got no borders or background. Make sure your cursor is inside your text box. Go to Insert, Table, click on the drop down, and just scroll down to about six, one by six, and release your mouse. And then you can see we've got a table inserted into our text box and our cursor at the top left here. Now, the reason we've done this into a text box is because we can duplicate it and we can also move this table wherever we like. So now I'm just going to increase the height of my cells because at the moment they're a little bit narrow. So any text you write into here is going to be a little bit narrow. So select my table by clicking on this top left box, go to table layout, go to height, and you can select any height you like, but I normally go for one centimeter and press enter. And you can see our lines now are a lot wider. To increase the amount of lines that you want in your table, simply go down to the bottom cell, press the tab key and you can see your rows increasing. So we need to get two rows of boxes in. So let's just move this over. So if I was to copy and paste this, you can do that by selecting it, Command and Control C, deselecting Command and Control V, or you can just select it, hold down your Alt or Option key and just click and drag. So what I'm trying to do, oh, let's just deselect, reselect this one. You can see if we have two of these, then we're not going to have enough space to put our date or day of the week. So we need to decrease the amount of rows that we've got. So let's just go back up to this one, right click, go down to delete row or you can decrease the amount of space you have for your text. And then again, we're going to hold down the Alt or Option key and just see how much space we've got to play with now. So for this one, we can now place our day up here and our day up here as well. This, actually, this space here is actually going to be for notes because obviously seven days of the week. We need to create eight of these. So before we do that, we're going to fully customize this one because then when we come to copy and paste it, we don't have to then re-customize each individual one. So select the table again by clicking on this top left box, go to table design, and we're going to just change all of the borders just to make this a bit more appealing. And you can do that by going over to this section here. Now you can go to borders here. If you click on the drop down, it's got each individual border of every cell or table. Now, when you click on these borders, it will refer to whatever you've selected. So if I've only selected this cell here, or let's say, for example, these two cells here, when I go up to table design, when I go to the borders here, if I want all the borders, say, for example, I want to go down to outside borders, it will only place an outside border around those two cells that I have selected. So you just have to be careful of your selection. If you've only selected one cell, it will only put the border around one cell. If you selected the whole table, it will put a border around the entire table. And that applies to all the other borders. You've got bottom, top, left. So for example, if I wanted all borders and inside, it will only affect those cells that I've selected. So let's just go back, Command or Control Z, select the whole table, and I'm going to put a thicker border and a gray border around the outside. Now here's your border color. Click on the drop down and you can select from any color here or more colors for your color wheel and you can select any color from the color wheel and your color will appear here. There's a brightness slider here 
and your color will appear here. Just select the color of your choice and click OK, but we're just going to stick with this gray at the moment. The default will be black, but I've already changed this to a very dark gray here. So the first thing I'm going to do is obviously change my color and then my pen weight. So click on this drop down here, and I've actually chosen a thicker border rather than the default, which will be this one at the top here, which is a much thinner one. Let's just change the top one, go to the top one and thinner one, go to borders and select all borders. And then I'm just going to change the weight. And then I'm going to go to borders again and select outside borders. So what we've been left with is thinner lines in the center and a thicker border line around the outside. If you're completely happy with this, you can begin to copy and paste. So I'm just going to select my Alt key and click and drag out as many of these as I need. Now, if you find that you've made your table a little bit too wide, just delete them all, select this one, reduce the size of it, and then copy and paste them all over again. So now we need to align all of these. So to select them all, select one, Then go to Shape Format, and now we need to put the same distance between each of these boxes. So go down to Distribute Horizontally, and that will mean that there is an equal distance between each of these boxes. Now we're going to reselect them all, and then go to Align, and let's go down to Align to Top, and it will ensure they're all perfectly lined up to the top as well. Now they're all selected, just click on your Alt or Option key, and drag out a new set. Now to ensure these are all perfectly lined up with the middle of your document, we're going to group them. So make sure they're all selected. Go to group, select group. And now this is all one group. And now what we want to do is to go to align, align to center. And now they'll all be perfectly lined up. So if you want to move them up or down the page, then just use your arrow keys to do that so they don't move left or right. We'll do exactly the same with the top ones. Go to group, select group, align, align to center. And then once again, just check that you're happy with their alignment. I think I'm going to just move those down a little bit. Perfect, now the top one we're going to ungroup because for this first one here, we're going to take out the border lines and just keep this for our notes. So select the table, go to table design, go to borders and just uncheck the outside borders. Now you can see that those middle lines aren't quite lined up. So if I just deselect it, you can see the lines here aren't quite lined up. So I'm going to select the, I'm not going to select the table, I'm going to select the text box. And I'm just going to use my arrow keys just to move that down so all those lines here are perfectly lined up. Okay, so now it's time to put our text in. So go to insert, text box, draw text box. Again, I'm just going to click out and draw a text box. Again, take out the outline and the shape fill. In fact, before I do that, let's just go back two steps. I'll show you what I mean. So if I deselect, you can see we've got a white background and a black border. So when we type into here, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's just go ahead and type Monday, select it, go to the Home tab. And this is where you can customize your font. So I'm going to choose a different font. Mine's Balania, and I'm going to change that font color to a dark gray to match the rest of my boxes and then I might just go up and increase the font size to 14, decrease the size here. Now if I wanted to put that there then you can do that with the box that's absolutely fine but if you want to get rid of the background and the border as I do then go to shape format, shape outline, no outline, shape fill, no fill and you can see now it's perfectly transparent. Now to make sure this is perfectly lined up with the center of your box here, we're going to make sure the text is in the center of the text box at the moment, the text is over to the left. So go to home and select center text. So that text is perfectly lined up in the center of that box. And then select the box, hold your command or control key down, select the text, 
shape format, align, align to center. Now I'm just going to move that text down a little bit so it sits on the line a little bit more. Again, all this is personal choice. And then what I can do is I can select the text, hold down my Alt key, just click and drag out another one. And then I can just put notes into this one. And because this is a slightly different element to the rest of it, I'll just make this text a little bit bigger. So go to home. And again, with the font size, maybe take that to 18. And again, I can line it up with this box here, select the box, select the text, holding down that alt or, uh, sorry, holding down the command or control key, align, align to center, and that's perfectly lined up there. Now all I'm going to do is to go along, select the text, hold the Alt key down, click and drag, and all I'm going to do is go along, do that for the rest of the week, and then change each individual box to the relevant day of the week. So there you have your weekly planner. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.